coming. Hello? This is Hank, the all-night disc jockey. What? If you tied spaghetti end to end, how many pounds would it take to go around the world? If I tied spaghetti? If you answer the question correctly, you'll win two glorious weeks at Pismo Beach. Now, wait a minute. It's four o'clock in the morning. That answer is incorrect. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm not going to let him get away with this. <laughs> operator. Operator. Number, please. Uh, will you please get me Hank, the disc jockey? At 4 o'clock in the morning, are you crazy? <laughs> what? If I were you, mister, I'd crawl out of that phone booth, get a cup of black coffee, and go home. <laughs> go home? If you don't, you'll hate yourself in the morning. Oh, yeah? Well, you're just a smart Alec. Now, let me talk to the head operator. I'm sorry, but the head telephone operator is busy. Well, then let me talk to the supervisor. The supervisor isn't in. Would you like to talk to Alexander Graham Bell? <laughs> Look, I'd like to... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Now, I'll never get back to sleep. Imagine being awakened at 4 o'clock in the morning by a silly disc jockey. Get the craziest phone calls. If I didn't have such a good laundry business, I'd take my name out of the book. <laughs> the yellow pages. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why didn't Rochester answer the phone? I could have been that sound asleep. I'm going to find out. Rochester. Rochester, why didn't you answer the phone? <laughs> it's four o'clock in the morning. He's not even in yet. Well, he'll hear about this. <laughs> Wasn't even his night off. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think I hear a key in the front door. I'd like to see him get out of this. <laughs> oh, Rochester! your toe. I'm dancing the menu. Rochester. Rochester. Now, look, you can stop with that silly dance. You're not fooling anybody. Now, what's the idea of coming in this hour of the morning? Coming in? Yes, I saw you open the door and come in. Oh, oh, that! I just stepped out to see if the milk had come yet. <laughs> just got out of bed to see if the milk had come. <laughs> Do you expect me to believe that? I'd have a better argument about wearing pajamas. Right. Now, look, Rochester, it's very obvious that you were just coming home. Now, I want to know where you've been. Well, last night, the club I belonged to had a social gathering. Mm -hmm. And the president had intentions of breaking it up at 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, eh? Well, if that was his intention, what happened? At 9.30, we elected a new president. <laughs> We'll talk about this in the morning. Now go to your room. 
Yes, sir. Good night, boy. Good night. I'll never get to sleep now. See, now I don't even feel sleepy. In fact, I feel good. You know, a lot of people get up early in the morning and take long walks before breakfast. You see, the exercise keeps them young and healthy. <laughs> see, maybe that's what I need, exercise. Yes, sir. Yep, that'll be good for me. Now, lately, when I tell people I'm 39, some of them don't believe it. <laughs> Including me. I'll take seven more years, even if it is bad luck. <laughs> hey, the sun will be up soon. Yep, I'm going to get dressed and take a nice long walk. Hey. I think I'll call Mary. Maybe she'd like to go with me. Yada dee da dum, ba bee da dum, da dum da dee da da dum, da dum 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 20 minutes to 5. 20 minutes to 5? Yeah, the sun is up. Jack. What? Have you been eating those rum lifesavers again? <laughs> I told him to get a cup of black coffee and go home. <laughs> you keep out of it. Anyway, it's none of your business. But Mary, I'll tell you what, you get dressed and I'll pick you up in about... Up. Well, I don't care what Mary says. I'm going to take a nice long walk. Gosh, it's the first time I've ever been out at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> See, Los Angeles is a wonderful place to live. The air smells so good. See, this early in the morning when there's no smog, there's visibility. <laughs> I can't believe it. Me, is this Camden Drive? We. such a long walk, you must have gotten up pretty early. Early? I'll say I did. Some silly guy called Hank the Disc Jockey woke me up at 4 o'clock in the morning. No kidding. Did he ask you how many pounds of spaghetti it would take to go around the world? Yeah. How'd you know? I won $10 for sending in the question. 